And we start our highlights with Oscar Smith taking on the Lansdowne Eagles. Oscar Smith looking for their 10th victory of the season. If they were able to accomplish that, it would be the seventh consecutive season they've won 10 games or more. And the Eagles out of the Beach District looking for the huge upset over the, over the Oscar Smith Tigers, uh, Tigers. But early on, it'll be J.C. Coleman making the catch out of the backfield. Breaks off a couple tacklers inside Lansdowne territory down to the 10-yard line. And that would set up this as J.J. Williamson hands off to Coleman. And Coleman scores from a yard out. The touchdown run. And the early score goes to the Tigers. Now 7-0 over the Eagles. Larry Joshua, the quarterback for Lansdowne, trying to make something happen. Stuck in the grass. Just heaves the ball up. A hope and a prayer. And it's answered. Unfortunately, it's answered by Mylon Blueford for the Tigers. And with the turnover, Oscar Smith would look to take advantage. As the Tigers' offense led by quarterback J.J. Williamson, Coxon fires and looks toward the end zone, but it's going to be picked off by Ronald Henderson. And Henderson makes a huge play for the Eagles, returning the interception out of the end zone and momentarily giving the Eagles a new hope of life. Now it would be the Lansdowne offense would have to make something happen as Larry Joshua under pressure. Tries to avoid the sack, is going to look to do it himself inside the 20-yard line and tackled out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Would set up a fourth down and Jordan Broadnecks would take the carry and Broadnecks is going to lose major yardage and the fourth down stand provided by the Tigers gives possession back over to Oscar Smith. And it wouldn't take long for the Tigers to put more points on the board as J.C. Coleman would score the touchdown from 92 yards out. You're not going to catch him, one of the fastest players in the, in the area, scoring for the Tigers once again. As Lansdowne finds themselves in a deep hole, still in the first quarter, trailing 14 to nothing. Now J.J. Williamson, again through the air, looking toward the end zone, and the pass is gonna be caught for the touchdown as the Eagles defense once again gives up points. This time the score brought in by Marquis Mays. Mays with the touchdown catch as Williamson would find the end zone. 21-nothing now the score going into the second half. Williamson again delivers the ball looking for the end zone and it's a catch and a touchdown for Quinta Funderburk as he scores the touchdown for the Tigers. Now 28-0 your score as the Tigers with the 28 point advantage in the third quarter over the Eagles. Lansdowne just trying to make something happen on offense as Larry Joshua Seems to have an apparent touchdown for the Eagles on second down and goal. As you see, the referee's coming in, and unfortunately, it would be a penalty flag against the Eagles. That would back them up five yards. The Lansdowne offense, again, self-destructing at the worst possible time. The handoff goes to Jordan Brodnicks, and Brodnicks stood up by the, by the Oscar Smith defense, looking to pitch that shutout. 28-0 the score now into the fourth quarter. As Lansdown, one last chance on offense. Larry Joshua, as he was for most of the night, harassed into a poor pass. The defense for Oscar Smith unrelenting. And J.C. Coleman unabashed, untouched, and in the clear toward the end zone. His second 90-plus yard touchdown run of the game. 14 carries, 238 yards, three touchdowns for the junior J.C. Coleman. 448 total yards of offense for the Tigers on this evening as they would go five and six on fourth downs as well. Lansdowne trailing now 35 to zero as the final seconds will be ticked off the clock. The Eagles fall to the Tigers and Oscar Smith wins for the 51st time in their last 54 games, including 48 straight wins in the region. J.J. Williamson, nine of 16, 184 yards and two touchdowns. Jordan Broadnecks, 15 carries and 64 yards in a losing effort for the Eagles. 